All right, I just wanna show you where to access this MIDI script. So on the actual re review, I just left a little section just underneath here, helpful resources, okay? Inside of here, you can, you, you can click the MIDI script. I already have it open. And it takes you to the image line page where I just shared the script for everyone to download, okay? There's also a helpful video and everything on there. So you just click here and you download it. And so now that you have it downloaded, this is how you install it. So first of all, close FL Studio, okay? And so this is the zip. And you want to go to this location. So in your documents, image line, data, FL Studio, settings, hardware. And you literally drag this right into there, okay? So now that you've dragged it into this location, you open it up and this is our own uh, script. Let's just take a quick peek inside of the script. So if you right click, you can go open with and open it with Notepad. I use something called Sublime Text. It's a very, very powerful upgrade to like Notepad. It's actually for like, you know, doing code and it's just, powerful for like writing notes and stuff too. Okay, so whenever you see a pound sign, this is what's called a comment. And I've just left you instructions how to install it. I've also left you some links and stuff if you wanna learn how to kind of get involved with MIDI scripting or kind of see what's more involved with it. Uh, but as you can see, this is all like the code that I tried to figure out. I was looking at other people's scripts and uh, I know a bit of PHP code. Uh, this is Python. They have like if or else if, and it's just code, it's just like, if this is true, do this, you know, that's just that, that kind of code. Anyway, so you have just installed this script and that's all there is to it, okay? So now inside of FL Studio, you're gonna load it up. And so I'm gonna hit F10 and inside of your um, MIDI stuff here, uh, inside of the input, so make sure the oxygen is actually enabled. You're gonna leave it on generic and on the MIDI uh, three, you're going to click controller type and with that script that we just loaded into um, right here. So in this location, so documents this script because we've loaded it in, we're going to see it right here and you just select it. Okay. And so now I just want to show you what that looks like as we use FL Studio now. Uh, so um, inside of those F10 settings, so let me just do this quickly. So um, the script is only applying to MIDI 3 in, okay? As you can see, it's the oxygen right there. And so now um, if I hit play, if I hit play again, it pauses it, which is how it should be. If I hit stop, it's gonna bring it right back to the beginning of the loop, okay? Um, and so if you click and hit play, and if I hit stop, you can see it brings it right there. And if I hit stop again, it brings it back to the beginning. I also have it set up so that if you go forward, it goes forward one bar, it goes back one bar, the record works, okay? And we can also go between uh, song and pattern mode if you click up here. And that's how I've always seen a MIDI keyboard work. And I'll, I'll just let you guys listen to this uh, little beat here, uh, okay? And so that is it. Uh, this MIDI keyboard works great with FL Studio, guys. Um, I'm very happy with the purchase. Okay, so that's how you install the MIDI script.